Welcome to the Beginner Guitar Academy podcast, a podcast where we provide tips and tricks to take the confusion out of learning to play guitar. Beginner Guitar Academy is a fast-growing online guitar school, taking you from complete beginner to well-rounded guitarist. So are you ready for your next guitar lesson? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here's your host, Amazon best-selling author of the book, Learn to Play Electric Guitar, Paul Andrews. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Beginner Guitar Academy podcast. And this week's episode, we're talking about the five best beginner guitar solos. If you didn't catch last week's episode, it's episode 36, make sure you do, because I went through how to turn your scales into solos. So if you haven't really gone much into lead guitar playing or don't know how you can create improvisations or solos from your scales, go and check that out as I'll walk you through a four-step process to do just that. So leaning on from that, I thought it'd be really cool now to give you some actual solos that are good for beginners to start working on your lead guitar playing, start developing some of the fundamental skills and are really cool and fun to play. So that's what we're going to be discussing in this week's episode. But before we dive into that, just want to go through a little bit of housekeeping. So just to let the BJ members know that I've now set our workshop for August and we're going to learn how to play Bad Habits by Ed Sheeran. And we're going to do that on Saturday, 28th August at 9am GMT. So every month we get on live on Zoom and I run through a cool song, a technique, different riffs, something like that. So we put on a cool workshop. Goes off about an hour, maybe sometimes a little bit more. And I'm going to break down bad habits, give you a beginner, intermediate, advanced level versions of it. So it should be something to play for everyone. You'll be able to ask questions throughout through the chat box. And at the end of the workshop, you can ask me live. So don't forget, guys, put that in your diary. And I look forward to seeing you on Saturday 28th at 9 a.m. to work on that cool tune. Also, guys, if you go and check out the website in the resource section, I've added a PDF with 30 songs you can play with level one chords. So the five chords we introduce in level one, you can now play 30 songs with those five chords. And I wanted to put this online so it shows you the power really of just learning a handful of chords, which are very common. You can then play so many cool songs and there's stuff in there like reggae, pop, rock, all different genres. So check that out guys, download that and that'll give you some fun to do over the summer to learn those cool tunes. So I think that's pretty much it for this week's housekeeping. So let's dive straight in to this week's topic. In this episode of the podcast, I'm going to take you through five best beginner guitar solos. So I've chosen these five solos because they are suitable for complete beginners and they're going to build up in basic complexity as we go. So we're going to start nice and simple. And then the last solo we're going to go through is going to be a little bit more challenging. So as your skills develop, obviously your repertoire develops and you can obviously progress and get better. So let's dive straight in and look at solo number one. And I've chosen Wonderful Tonight by Eric Clapton. And you can find us on his 1977 album, Slow Hand. And it's this great little introduction kind of riff or solo that we're going to go through. And let me play it for you. So here's what it sounds like. So there's a solo, I'm sure you've heard it before. And it's a really nice one for beginners. It looks at bending. So you've got that bend right there. You can hear that throughout. And that's a tone bend, meaning we're bending the fret 10 on the B string up two frets to sound like the note at 12 fret on the B string. And that's a really good way of checking your bend and make sure you're reaching the right pitch is to play the note two frets higher. And then you go back to the fret you want to bend up and push and try and reach that note you play two frets higher. So if we're bending the fret 10, the note we want to sound like is fret 12 on that same string. Also as you're bending, make sure you're using multiple fingers on the string. So I've got my third finger on the fret 10 that I'm actually bending, second finger behind that on fret 9 and first finger on fret 8. More fingers you have behind, the more ah, strength you have behind the bend, the more kind of uh, easier it is to push up. So lots of fingers there to help you out. So this is a really good one for bending because it's got that bend multiple times throughout. Also really good for hammer-ons. So you've got some hammer-ons there at the end of the first kind of section. Then the end of the second section, he's got some nice little slides and then a little hammer on the end. So it's a really cool solo. 
mainly for those little bends, but also for slides as well. It's not too fast at 95 beats per minute, so you won't feel rushed. So it's a really nice beginner solo. So there you go, guys. There is one for tonight, solo number one. For solo number two, we have Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. And you can find this song on their 1991 album, Nevermind. And it's not too bad. It's a nice kind of beginner song. When I say beginner song, it does use movable power chords. And they are quite um, an early sort of chord. We normally do them in level two. Um, so it can be a little bit tricky. Obviously, you've got to move them around, you've got to move around the neck. So I wouldn't say it's a beginner, beginner song. It's often touted as one, but the rhythm for the intro is quite mean. And he does actually throw in a few bar chords as well. But the solo is not too mean. It's fairly quick, but it's not jump around the neck too much. So it shouldn't be too mean. There's some nice little bends in there. Um, yeah, so it's not too bad. So if you haven't heard it, here's what it sounds like. So there's a solo, it sounds pretty cool. Again, it's not super mean. This one's a really nice one actually to look at using finger per fret. So using multiple fingers. So after you've done this kind of original slide in, you go back, got a nice little bend. Then you go back to fret five. And this section here, I'm using multiple fingers. My first finger's in fret five, then it goes up to fret eight. And the best thing to use there is pinky fingers. It's a nice one to get used to just using different fingers and different frets. So I quite like it for that as well. So typical for Kirk Bain, he plays the melody for the verse. So it's quite nice though to play as well because you know obviously the next note he's gonna play because it's the melody you've already heard in the song. So it's a really nice one for that because you kind of already know what it should sound like. So if you make a mistake, obviously you can hear it. Nice one for pull-offs as well in the last section. And he's got this bit going on. So it's just a really nice solo, so not too mean. So that is solo number two. Have some fun with that one. So solo number three is Holiday by Green Day. And it's the third single from their seventh studio album, American Idiot, which was released on September the 21st, 2004. So like before, I'll play the solo and then we will break it down. So great thing about this solo is it's all just single notes. There's no bends or vibrato or slides or other things we've seen in the previous couple of songs. It's just nice straight notes. So it's got this nice little melody. So yeah, it just sounds really cool. So I really like this solo. This is a nice one to play. Um, it's fairly quick, I suppose, to move around, but shouldn't be too mean after obviously a little bit of practice. Again, like I said in previous songs, make sure you're using multiple fingers. Uh, he actually starts in fret six, and then goes to fret eight, and then fret nine. So the idea would be first finger, fret six, third finger, fret eight, and pinky fret nine, rather than using just one finger sliding around, because you want to stay in a particular position. So he then comes back to it. Just kind of work around that little shape. So you want to keep your fingers in that kind of scale shape. Um, but yeah, really nice solo. So check out Holiday, not too mean. It's a speed of it might be, but it's a really fun one to play. So solo number four, and we're going to be looking at Californication by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. You can find this on their 1999 album, Californication. And this is a really cool solo. So a really fun one to play. Lots of nice little techniques. So again, I'll play it and then we shall break it down.
So there's a song, see it's probably one of the longest solos that we've done it's in this little countdown of the five top solos, um, but it's a really fun one. Lots of nice little bends. And we've got a few different types as well. He does his full tone or whole tone bends, which we have seen in previous songs. So that shouldn't be anything new, but he's also got these lovely little unison bends. Unison bends are really cool. So we're bending up, we're in this case 16th fret on the G string. But as we're doing that, we're holding down 14th fret on the B string, playing both of those together. So the 14 on the B, 16 on the G, bending up 16 on the G. So it sounds the same as the 14 on the B. Hence the name unison. So unison meaning the same note. That's really good for ear training because if you don't quite hit that pitch, obviously it's flat. If you go past it, it's sharp. So it's getting that bang on, which can be a little bit tricky, a bit annoying, but really good for developing your ear. So there's unison bends. Apart from that, you know, it's not too mean. Just these single little note kind of parts. It's quite slow as well, so you should feel you don't feel too rushed. Again, really nice and melodic. Use some ends. And there we go. So that I really like. So it's a really nice one. I quite often use this um, for beginner guitar players that maybe dabbled a little bit, probably done like one for tonight or something like that. And this one's something they can really sink their teeth into and have some fun with. So it's a really nice solo. Really nice song as well. Obviously the main riff. Really nice one for kind of arpeggio playing, that right hand accuracy. So no, a really cool song. But there is the solo. Definitely check them out because it's not too mean, but it does sound pretty cool. Okay, so solo number five, and the fifth solo we're gonna look at is Knockin' Heaven's Door by Guns N' Roses. And this can be found in their 1991 album, Use Your Illusion 2. So let me demonstrate it, and then we'll go through it. So this is a really cool solo. You can see, it is probably the most technically demanding one we, we've looked at. So, well, it is. So that's why I put it as number five, because it is the toughest one. But it does sound really cool. So we're in the key of G major pentatonic. So a really nice little major pentatonic solo. And those nice little phrases, some nice little slides. Pull-offs and bends. It's just kind of got a bit of everything, this solo. Nice little bends there, and then he does a big bend on fret 20. It's really cool. So yeah, lots of nice stuff to uh, kind of sink teeth into here. It's quite nice as well, because it's divided into, you know, nice little phrases. And then he holds it. And he holds it. So it's kind of already divided into little phrases for you. As you're going through a solo, that's the way to do it, you know, chunk it down, break into little blocks, and then slowly put them together, slowly build up the speed as well, you know, start slow. This song is fairly slow, and it's nicely developed um, or arranged into these little phrases anyway. So a really cool one to look at. Yes, there is some technique there to look at, like the bends, especially accuracy. You know, when you're bending up, trying to hit that note, and not be flat, not be sharp. But again, it's all really good ear development. So really trying to hit that note. Remember, the note you wanna play if it's a full tone bend is two frets higher. Play that note first, and then bend that, uh, the original note you're trying to bend up to that note two frets higher, if that makes sense. So if you're bending up fret 17, you can play 19 to get your pitch. So that's a really um, you know, useful thing to do. So you can get in your ear first and then try and bend up and reach what 
the Saudis in your ear. And there we go, guys. So there's Knocking Heaven's Door. Have some fun with that one. Really fun one to do. Take it slow, break it down, and you'll be rocking it in no time. And there we go, guys. Five beginner guitar solos. So obviously the easiest being wonderful tonight, the hardest being Knocking Heaven's Door. Work for those, build them up, develop those kind of essential techniques, the slides, the hammer-ons, the bends, all that kind of good stuff, and have some fun with them. They're really cool solos. For BJ members, I'll be recording videos of each of these solos and releasing them to the website next week. And I'll probably throw a few up on YouTube as well, guys. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on future episodes. And I really appreciate a rate and review in whichever app you are using to listen to me right now apart from that guys i'll speak to you again next week for another episode take care keep practicing and i'll chat to you next week thank you for listening to the beginner guitar academy podcast we hope you enjoyed today's episode for more information updates or to start your membership today please visit us at www.beginnerguitaracademy.com until next time take care 